Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahman ar-Salatu wassalamu ala Rasul al-Karim While we're waiting for Sheikh Abu Muhammad to finish his sunnah we're going to um, just give you a small introduction A small introduction, what we, the way we're going to organize today is uh, Sheikh has brought us a small video for about uh, 25 minutes which he wants you all to see and he wants to explain at the same time what's going on Just turn off, just turn off He wants to explain at the same time and what's going on and give you some background. After that, he's going to go straight into, inshallah, 45 minutes into this talk that he wants to deliver. And then after that, there'll be an opportunity for questions and answers. And also, there's another video if you have time for him to show you, um, where he can explain to you uh, more about Seha, its signs, its, you know, um, its preventive measures, etc. Et so, um, in terms of Seha, uh, magic, in terms of Taweez, in terms of evil eye, all of these types of um, actions are haram in Islam and they're impermissible. And uh, some of these acts can tantamount to shirk, kufr, which takes one out of the fold of Islam. For example, if one was to believe it's permissible to do magic, whether they call it good magic or bad, or bad magic, black magic they could render themselves out of the fold of Islam just by believing it's permissible. Now many of us here know people in Luton where they, give, they, they, cure, they cure the people who are possessed with jinn, they cure them by bringing other jinn to scare off the jinn that's inside the people. So this is playing with magic. This is making halal what Allah made haram. This is tantamount to kufr. If the person is ignorant, maybe he'll be excused. But until somebody has established a proof on these Mawlanas or these people who are doing such acts, that person, that Mawlana or peer, he remains in the fold of Islam until the proof is established upon him. But once somebody sat with him and explained to him, that in the Quran, in Surah Jinn, where Allah Subhanahu said, verily there were a group of, uh, of, the, of mankind who used to return to a group of jinn for aid and help then Allah increased them in their misguidance when they understand this verse mean, to be meaning that some of mankind would, and would um, mix with and, and take help and aid from jinn in order to take out other jinn, fight other jinn, and other magic etc then you will know inshallah that they would, they would know that this is haram, they should abstain from this, from this action. But if they continue to per persevere in this, then this is kufr, which takes the people out of the fall of Islam. So it's very serious. It's something which is prevalent here in Luton and England, in Pakistan, Bangladesh, India. Prevalent. And Abu Muhammad Mashal has got many, many years' experience in dealing with these you know, possessed people, seha, evil eye, etc. It's very, very, you know, um, you know, in Nadiratan it's very uh, rare that we find a Raqi upon the Sunnah. Someone who does not innovate in the religion whilst taking a, a jinn out or whilst dealing with Seth. And very rare we find somebody who is not even making shit with Allah or, or not innovating in the methods of Rukia. So Alhamdulillah, we have someone like this. And we, we brought him here to deliver information to you all. So you can all then see the day, great day dangers of these uh, these these uh, sahar and magic and evil eye, and then we can take our precautions and inform our families, extended families, so all of us can benefit from this. Uh, I won't keep any keep you any, any longer. So, uh, video. Okay, so we're going to start with the video, and Sheikh will give some uh, some ex explanation. Okay. Zabla. <coughs> But you are stupid. If you are stupid, you answer. And then because you answer, I know you are right. I make you stupid. Yeah, I you see you sit and you laugh and you smile. Ah, are you stupid? Mashallah, are you smile. Mashallah, because you're stupid, and now you are you know that you are stupid, and I want you each other to speak of the mirror now. That's pain. Who is doing that? Is it a magic or you? And don't let me beat you now. 
that is it magic for you. Answer me. From now on, I'm going to army. Is that magic? That pain is due to magic or you? Answer me. Don't let me have Is it true? Who or you are making my sister in pain? Answer me. And I know. Is it you or the magic? Answer by you. Is it you or the magic? One of two. Is it you or the magic? Where that pain come from? Magic or you?
Taliban, students of knowledge. But remember, a shaitan shaitan doesn't get tired. And the shaitan work very hard on the one who is, inshallah, on the path of the din, So, my brothers, we see sisters and brothers, mashallah, who are multism. But yet, the jinn enter the body. Even you do the prayer, mashallah, tabarakallah, you do the prayer in the mosque, the jinn can enter you when you are not in wudu. When you are angry, like the Prophet sallallahu he said to that the, 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 the person who was angry, and the Prophet sallallahu he said, Fima ma'ana, if he does what I'm going to ask him to do, uh, when he was angry, just to say, Audhu Bilam Shaitan Rajim, then to do wudu, he will become normal. Because that time, this man, the Shaitan, enter his body. And when the Shaitan enter, like the Prophet Sallallahu he said, Inna ma shaitan yajri majraddami fil arab Shaitan runs in our vein like the blood. Running in our body is like the blood in the vein. So we have to be careful, my brothers. Um, if you are not in wudu, inshallah, you know, quickly do your wudu. If you are angry, inshallah, try if you are standing up, seat. Follow the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. If you don't know hadith, at least if you are, if you are angry, if somebody tell you calm down, try to calm down, because the shaitan Ali Allah, he has the opportunity to enter. If you are overjoyed, if you are upset, if you are worried, so that's how the penetrating of the shaitan can penetrate in your body. Inshallah, gentle correction, but uh, my dear brother Abu Qadr said uh, that I am sheikh, I am not, Inshallah. Thank you so much for that. It's not to be humble, and Ya Allah, in Arafah Qadr, may Allah be with somebody who knows his limit and he stay, you know, maybe uh, if you like somebody, tell him, Mashallah, your sheikh, or, well, I, I want to, for my brother to know that I'm, I deal with the, with the jinn, or I do the rukya, but that's it. But to be sheikh, my, my brother, mashallah, you have to work for it, inshallah. I just wanted to prepare a few pages. It took me one day, and I didn't get what I want. And now I understand, you know, yani the father of, of our shuyuk, alaykum salam, and tulab al the student of knowledge, you know, to be a student of knowledge and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you a tawfiq and ability is bonus. Well, I, my brother, I was, you know, coming, now, ready? Masha'Allah, forgive me, my brother, we will continue later. And this is maybe more important to my talk. This is what they said in, in English, one uh, picture. Yes, brother. Inshallah. <laughs> Then when you see this one, inshallah, by the will of Allah. And by the way, uh, you know, this, what you are going to see is a sister who is possessed by the jinn and the jinn of love. You know, now you might probably, most of you, uh, maybe most of you, you don't imagine or you don't think the jinn male can be in love with the female or the female jinn can be in love with male. So the both uh, uh, DVD, Two sisters, both of them, they were possessed by the genie male. So, inshallah, later on, inshallah, we will, inshallah, talk about it. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give me tawfiq, inshallah. I leave you, inshallah, with that, inshallah.
sees you who doesn't want her to go to see anybody. If you don't answer me, then mash up. You, the one who didn't want her to come to you, and yesterday, mash up. Okay, you, where are you in this body? Relax, relax, remember, I don't have the gene. Huh? Where are you in the body? Are you on the left, mashallah, in the, in the brain, mashallah? How many of you in this body? Remember, I don't have the gene. Listen carefully. No, 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 I'm not going to harm you. No, put your hand up. Put your hand up. Relax, 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 mashallah. You are in the head. Who is on the left ladder? Who is on the left leg? Answer me, otherwise I will burn you. Now put your hand down. I don't have the list. If you don't want to listen. Oh, Masha, the one on the left leg, what's your name? The one on the left leg, what's your name? Masha, don't, don't raise your hand. I am not going to beat. When I'm going to beat you, I will tell you. Now I'm going to beat you. The one who put your hand down. The one in the belly, what's your name? Fatima, Daddy, Daddy. Siddiq, Fatima, and you, the Christian, what's your name? That's the one, the Christian. What's your name? Fatima, Siddiqa, and another one. Fatima, Siddiq. So, and there's a Christian one. What? You, Fatima, and It's the Christian Siddiq. one which is in love with her. Who sent you to this body? Don't fear me, don't fear me. I don't beat the gene, I don't beat the gene. Remember, I guide you by the God. Who sent you to this body? Did you? Huh? Are you following my son? All of you. Huh? They were following her. Wherever she goes, they follow her. Why you follow her? You like her. So if you like that, with haram. So you like her, then you enter the world. By yourself, yes? Or through the evil. Yeah, yes, we are Muslim. We are brothers. Listen to me, Allah said in the beginning of the Allah, yes? The brothers, Allah said, the believers are brothers. This girl is supposed to be your sister. You are fucking ashamed. You are ashamed. Fatima, huh? Your sister is a brother. Sister and brother? Huh? Fatima is a brother. Why don't you follow Fatima? And then you follow Shaitan. Okay, tell me, what is your name? Who's, who's 
much easier talking to you. Ladies, yeah, which ladies? The one who doesn't wear, the one who, who doesn't cover, which one the easy? You're saying the ladies are more of an easy target for them. The one who doesn't cover their, their hair and their body, and the one who doesn't pray, and the one who puts the perfume and go outside. What else? The, the one who forget what? Speak, speak long. The one who forget or not. Marshallah. So inshallah, the yeah, Jinn himself saying, the ones who forget Allah, the ones who forget the attack. Ah, and you forget the prayer of Allah. Ah, and look what happened to you now. You were watching her, huh? and you grab her hand onto the body. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave me inshallah to give me the ability, I grab you to the body. No, 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 look, I am not going to harm you. I am guiding you, Allah. Huh? You are my sister in Islam, yes? And Allah said, I am here to guide you today. And I want you to say, Ya Allah, forgive me. See, this is different, there's a different strategy working with Jim. Okay. One of the strategies the Sheikh is using here, and Muhammad is using here, is uh, uh, the strategy of them. playing with the heart of the jinn to soften them and then... Speak loud, loud, I cannot hear you. Either embrace Islam or leave. I will leave this lady, Sarah, the Quran. Fatima, there is a magic in this body. Are you sure? Truthfully, when you are lying, when I do with that body, you start to lie in this body. And you start liking it, yeah? No, the more time you spend no. with the jinn, if they say they leave, yes? they leave will, willfully. But if you beat them and you be very harsh and burn them with the Quran, and then they leave forcefully, they go and they tend to come back. So you're trying initially first, out of revenge, they want to come back. So you're trying initially first to try and get them to leave themselves. Okay. What was it that time? But he said that ultimately, the tawfiq, the ability is from Allah SWT, or that Jesus is going to leave first, regardless of what he says or does. You burn them with the Quran or whether you talk to them nicely, ultimately it's in the hands of Allah Jalla Ma'ala. Actually says that this Tao, this this magic that is on her is very very strong. So it took time, a lot of time, to burn the So that is not a Taoist, that is magic. Okay, you see, it's made it clear. This is not Tao. Uh, so Tao is the mother thought she put on the neck was it. actually magic, sick. And the mother when didn't I, even know. In order to protect Just when I got it from somebody, put it on, thinking it's something good. But the jinn is saying, now this is the this is the force. This is the this is the magic. The same. No, no, but 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 her mom, her mom, 
she was doing that for her. He said, well, you know, most of the times that people, when they wear tawis, the vast majority of them are the cause of the sahara in and of themselves. And the general people don't know this. What is the tawis? Yeah, very quickly, what is the tawis? Normally, normally, Tawiz is um, ayah from the Quran Karim or a hadith from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allahumma ashfi inta shayi, ashfi inta shafi la shifa la shifa u ka shifa u la ghadiru saqama. You write it in piece of paper and you give it to your here there is there is two before before I answer that uh, question there is uh, two opinion about the Tawiz. Uh, majority of ulama this the they said makro uh, not permissible to uh, to have Tawiz. Some ulama said permissible because there is uh, uh, Imam Ali radiallahu anhu Ibn Abbas um, Hadrat Aisha radiallahu anhu Imam uh, Ahmed some of them they said you know, there is uh, uh, permissible but when they spoke about Tawiz or, or, or not the one which we can see now. Most of the time they were saying, like you go to somebody, Hafid or, or Alim or Imam or, or Insan Saleh, highest person, or anybody, inshallah, any, anybody can does um, this Tawiz. What, what, what you have to do, you write ayah from the Quran, there is six ayah of Shifa, or you choose any ayah from the Quran because Allah Tabarakatah mentioned in the Quran, one who is in the Quran, who is Shifa, one who is Shifa, one who is Shifa, the Quran is Shifa, the Quran is all Shifa. If you take some verses from the Quran, Alhamdulillah, or Bismillah Shifa, Umar radiallahu anhu, he used to use Al-Fatiha, people used to be cured. The, 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 the Sahabi who cured the leader of the tribe, the one, one, one uh, leader of the tribe was stung by a scorpion and he wasn't Muslim. So um, the Sahaba, uh, the, the, the Sahaba the, some, of the, some of the Sahaba, um, and they, were, they were camping, they were um, sitting. Um, nearby. Barakallahu nearby. nearby uh, and um, they went to this, to the, the, this people, uh, these people, they didn't feed them, they didn't, they didn't, uh, mm. they didn't give, they were, they were not but, guests, they didn't give they them were, the of guests. wasn't any hospitality. Mm. So, the, 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 the Sahaba, they went back to their camp. Exactly, they went to the camp, they set a camp there, and they were sitting. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala razzaq wa man yataqi allaha yaj'al lahum makhrajan wa yuzukhum min haythu la yahtasib wa man yataqi allaha fa allaha fa wahid So the sahaba they were sitting and one of the the leader of that tribe was a stung by a snake or scorpion Barakallahu fiqh So now they are in trouble So nobody can do anything to the leader But one of the the, the, the tribe he said, oh, let's see these people over there. Maybe they have something to offer. The companions. The companion of the Prophet So they came and he said, oh, our leader has been stung by scorpion. Masallah sahaba yaqeen. He said, anybody, anybody, if you can do something, one of the sahaba said, yes, me, I can do it. By the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Masallah tabarakallah. He went and he read Al-Fatiha for three days, mashallah. So the, the, the leader of the tribe, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, gave him shifa through the Sahabi to show this uh, tribe that Al-Quran 
or these people, or what these people believe, alhamdulillah, there is a cure, there is mercy. So with the Fatiha, inshallah, that person was cured. Now, Al-Fatiha, Taweez. Ayat al-Kursi, Taweez. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he, ha, when uh, 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 Labid al-Asam, when he did the magic to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and the Jibreel Alayhi Salam, wa Mikail or Israfil, yani, ithneen min, yani, malaika, alayhi salam, uh, they were talking between them. And one of them, he said, Matbuk, which means the Prophet says, Matbuk, he has a uh, he has a problem, and that problem, Matbuk, which means he has a siha. So to cut the story short, so from that time, um, يعني الله تبارك وتعالى يجيب شفاء هي الله سبحانه وتعالى that's number one and الله سبحانه وتعالى order Jibreel to say to the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم this is two surahs معوذة so use this معوذة enough sufficient معوذة آت الفاتحة أم الكتاب الفاتحة آية الكرسي three quotes the top. This is the Rukia, the top. So sometimes we read two hours, three hours on somebody. Nothing happened. Sometimes we call Adhan, Mashallah Tabarakallah. So we go back, Inshallah. Let's see, you, my brother, you wrote Al Fatiha. Now hear it, hear it, Al Fatiha, and then. Al-Fatiha, few other uh, ayah, or ayah to the then you uh, fold it up. Fold it to Zakallah Khir, like this one, inshallah, I will talk to you later about this collection. I do, I do, I do plenty of, of ta ta this is Taweez. And <coughs> most of the time, most of them, uh, my brother, something like this. Can, can, you, can you tell me what is, this is Taweez, my brother. Yeah? Can you tell me what is inside? Anybody please guess. Free of charge, guess. We don't charge you. Supposed to be here. Aya Farukara. Jazakallah khair, my brother. And you, my brother. Food. Mashallah khair. Let's see our uncle here. Yes. Nothing drawing this time. Now, there is something, my brother. Great heights. Mashallah. Who else? No numbers. Something, something, okay, something with bone. Bones. Teeth. Uh, ah, teeth. Ah. Mashallah, teeth. 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 But big teeth, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> this is Tawiz, my brother. Look, when I, when I open it, I jump. This is Tawiz. <laughs> this is what they give us, my brother. Okay, and then we will say, why is Tawiz? Is is forbidden. I went to Birmingham, and then this lady he told me she is mentally disturbed, and she is under deep depression, tablet and anxiety. Name it, you find it. And I I looked I looked at her and her mom, she was sitting, but she was like Subhanallah, this she was like a wolf. This sister, she was like a dog. <coughs> She did like this to me. When she did like this, I know that she is possessed, but the jinn inside, the jinn is a dog. The jinn. Because the jinn can perform like a dog, like snake, like scorpion, like a ram. The one, if you see a brother or sister who is possessed by, like, the jinn is a snake, you will hear them, they go like this, or they do like this, or their feet, they do like this. Okay? Mashallah, my dear brother, so this is one Tawiz. And just to show you how conveniently it was wrapped, so the person who's <coughs> wearing it doesn't know what's inside. This is inside, and it's wrapped like this. So you really have to wonder what is inside those things which the people are given and told never ever open it. And this one, any. 
Shall I let you guess or shall I help you, inshallah? This is Jesus, the picture of Isa, السلام, according to Muskeen, our Muslim brother. He goes and he like accepted to put this one. I didn't open it. I don't know what's inside. I didn't have a time. I have collection, my brothers of them. You know, because the subject today is about Taweez. And I was going to bring briefcase full because anybody who come to my house, you know, the man, I always do like this. So if I find something, what is this, my brother? Uh, so I did. So this is another one. So this one has a picture of Isa alayhi salam there. It's fun, you know. This is how ignorance has spread in our ummah. Muslims wearing things like this. Can can any one of my brothers here, inshallah, especially Tullab uh, al-Ilm, inshallah, because I'm not Sheikh, I'm not Talib al Remember Umar radiallahu anhu wa arda, he saw somebody made Quran uh, uh, what he did to him? He, he, he beat him. Obviously, he will beat him. <laughs> Omar Razulan, he doesn't play. There is a gap, there is a gap between two brothers, and he comes in. So, we, so, we, so, we. so the gaps, he used to have a stick to tell the people just to, to close the, the gaps. Gap. So, here, he saw a small Quran, somebody made a small Quran, and he beat him. Okay, that's this man, he was nice. <coughs> he wanted to make Quran look nice and mashallah to So he had a good intention, the one who made this. And he beat him. Oh, sorry, the one who the process. Sorry. And, now, Khattab, sorry. and now, my brother, when you see somebody give you taweez, and this is Quran. This is a whole, supposed to be whole Quran. Whole Quran. How can it be whole Quran? You use binoculars, the big, the satellite things you can't get. <laughs> you know, the things we still look at. <laughs> <laughs> Telescope of NASA you cannot read. <laughs> Shuf subhanallah. Yani <laughs> ihana. And so, the, so what he's doing is this ihana is making fun of all those religions, you know? He literally. And, and, and the person who who was wearing this, he does body building society. And uh, this brother he wasn't doing the prayer. I said, yeah. He, Let's see, you put a Quran and you disobey the Quran. Yani you put a Quran on your chest, but you leave it on your back. You don't do the prayer. This one, another one. This is, I don't know what is, what, what is it. I just took it from the brother. You know, sometimes people, they get blue stone, green stone. Barakallah. What is the green stone, my brother? Jade. Huh? Jade. 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 In China, they wear green. Jazakallah. But, Jade. you know, but... You know, this is the call it for luck. Luck is the green stone here. Jazakallah. But does the Prophet Sallallahu wear one like this? No. Sahaba. No. Tabi'i. Tabi'i, tabi'i. No one. Hadi. Hadi, the evil eye itself. This is bring you the evil eye inside. So, no. Shaitan, this is attraction to the jinn. Can I just expand on that? No. See, the, the brothers, they will they wear, wear this, and if you saw this around somebody's neck, immediately your eyes would go on that, say, oh, how beautiful that, that piece of stone is. There's the evil eye. So the one who, who put this on that person knows very well it's going to attract the evil eye. Or if he doesn't know, then he's ignorant himself, following the footsteps of his forefathers. So as soon as some, someone looks and is attracted by something and has an evil eye, doesn't say, mashallah, or something like this, subhanallah, he doesn't praise Allah, thank Allah, then the evil eye opens the door for the jinn to come inside and possess the people. Alhamdulillah, we will start now with, 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 with talking about, uh, about uh, Taweez. I thought, but this is very, very, very important indeed. With my great respect to my brothers, elders from different... Um, Jazakallah khair. Now, how that Jazakallah, after. Don't worry. Uh, this is one one brother, mashallah, he respects me so much. He took all Taweez, and this one was hiding. I just opened this, it was closed, like this. Yeah? And I opened it, and found this piece of paper inside. And the brother, he said, oh, Abu Muhammad, I love my mom. And she, mama, she gave it to me. 
And my mum, she passed away. You see, it's the shape of a heart. It's hard to say, but what is inside the heart? <laughs> I said to him, my brother, I love you too. Let's open it. If it's good, I put two. <laughs> if it's not good, you inshallah, let me take it. He said, yes, Abu Muhammad. Mashallah, I was expect, expecting Mashallah to, to find something. But we didn't find anything. I said to him, look, this is a joke. Piece of, might, be, might be a ticket of a bus. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Bus ticket worn out. You, you will laugh more, Inshallah, my brother. That's another one. Now, there is other, please be, yani, be patient with me. I don't know whether, please, if you feel bored, raise your hand. I beg you, inshallah, for the sake of Allah. I want you to be happy, to enjoy, and to <laughs> Last Sunday, I did, um, it was conference in Whitechapel. But they told me, Abu Muhammad, speak about your experience. Mashallah. Akhi Abdul Qadir, he said, speak about Tawif. And I was, uh, uh, I armed myself with this whole Tawif. Prepare yourself. Okay? <laughs> Um, now, this is very dangerous. This is very dangerous, huh? This is Tawiz, my brother, and my dear respected brother, inshallah. Um, you might say this guy is might be Wahhabi, might be this, might be why he's bombarding us with the Tawiz. No? But look, my brother, this yellow thing, huh? They sell them in shops. But we are coming. Look, this one. No, no, this. The yellow color. What we say, Surah Al Ikhlas. Allah Samad Lam Yalid Here is written Yalid Yulid Lahu Lahu Yalad La ila when I read it I was like this which means Allah Allah has children Walahu Walahu he has Walahu al Walad and he has a and he has a a a son Walahu I was shaking my father Lahu Yalad and he he gives birth he gives birth all opposite yalad. of the surah. There's yalad there. Walahu, he has. Look at this here. Subhanallah. Yalad, he, he gives birth. Walahu, walad. And that, he has a son. <laughs> Walahu. That, that, that was, I did it in uh, yeah, yeah, yalad yeah. too. You see, people like us would not be able to recognize this. You know, Muhammad, he knows, he looks, he, he can study, he can see what they, what they mean behind these things. Because my, my, my language. So, and uh, it's my language and plus, Tawiz. I, 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 I keep open them, and day by day, now I, I, I become alerted. Each day, I will, re, I will read on you one by one. Please be patient with me. Jazakumullah. If you want me to speak about something else, please, I urge you, inshallah. You are my brothers, inshallah. I come today for the sake of Allah Ta'ala for you. So I don't want to feel like I'm like a, a parrot. And uh, you know, inshallah, if you enjoy, if you have any question, inshallah, either me or brother Abdul Qadir, he answer. Um, this is, I got it from Manchester, from a lady. Uh, this is already, there is a lion. Malika will run out from the picture. The angels will run away from this picture. Uh, there's just a picture, let alone a shirk. Ya, ya, ya Ali, ya Ali, ya Ali. On something that, even when you call Ya Rasulullah, Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is not going to listen to you. He will listen to you only in one condition. Assalamu alaikum Ya Rasulullah. He responds to you, and Allah knows best how he responds to you. Because it's our brain, your brain, my brain, he will not take it how the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you are in Pakistan, I'm in New, in New Delhi, the other one in Moscow, the other one in the moon, he said, Assalamu alaikum, Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam replied. That's Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. He knows how the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam answered. Allah knows best. We leave it to Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. This, um, there is other, um, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I don't know, my, maybe my brothers, inshallah. Help me, yeah? Ya Badduh. Ya Badduh. Ya Badduh, Ya Badduh, Ya Badduh. Badduh. Supposed to be the name of Allah, but actually, Allah he has 99 names, no Badduh. There is one so Badduh in the 99. The, the Badduh is not a name from the names of Allah. Exactly. They're writing this in this Tawiz, yeah, Badduh. So maybe this is the name of a jinn. 
هذا اول اول جن لوك يا عوز يا غاز يا عوز يا غا او هيلب هير ايد كويت كويت يو نو يا قوت يا قوت اول اول ذيس ذا نيم اوف اكوردنج تو ماي نوليدج ذا نيم اوف شايد ذيس از انذر تاويز اي ويش يو كان جاست سكريبلي اوكي ذيس از انذر تاويز And this one as well. Ya biduh, ya biduh, ya. How can how how can you be cured by biduh? Who is biduh? You will be inside the duh. Ada biduh bil Arabi. Now when we say we say in the name of Allah, Bismillah, bi Azamatillah, bi Qudratillah, bi Jalalillah. But we don't say the Hormat Jibril, or the Hormat Israfil, or the Hormat. When they say the Hormat Jibril, Hormat is Bihak. Meaning it means by the sanctity or great honor of Jibril. No, ka. Bihak ya Jibril, then ya Bidduh. Then. By the truth of Jibril, and then Al Bidduh. Then Bihak, then Bihak Israel. And by the hack of the right of Israel, meaning the great states of Israel, Israel. Yeah. Yeah. This is in Shabbat. All these are words of shirk. See, when we don't understand Tawheed, the, the great importance of um, the names and attributes of Allah, and not diverting them to other than Allah, this is what we fall into. That is like like this, this Tawheed, this one. You can say, um, There is name, the name of Allah Tabarak al Ta'ala. Yeah, Ya Razak, Ya Rahman, even Like this, if somebody stubborn and he want to tell me, I might say, my brother, this is okay. Because there is no shit. Ya Birahmatik Ya Allah, Ya. There is no other Ya only Allah Tabarak al When you say Ya, you are calling. When you say Ya Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, You are calling the Prophet, and the Prophet is not. Ya is for Damir. Ya. Ya for somebody who's present. Only only one who's present. When you use the word Ya, if he's absent, he's not here in the third sense. You don't use Ya. It's like us saying to you, "Oh Shakil." He's in front of Oh Shakil, but Shakil was at home, and I'm saying to everybody, "Oh Shakil." You know, it doesn't make sense in the English language. It's the same thing in Arabic. The only time there's one exception, but in the prayer when you. But this is something exceptional for the prayer because the Prophet legislated for us to do that. However, there's another hadith of Aisha where, we, where she said in Sayyid Bukhari not to say Assalamu Alaika Ya Rasulullah, she said Assalamu Ala Nabi. So even that also, inshallah, is, 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 is going to close the gap of saying Ya Muhammad, Ya Nabi, Ya, ya Rasulullah. All this is shit. Look where it leads on to. From accepting Ya Allah, Ya Rasul, or Ya Allah, Ya Muhammad, to Ya Hussein, Ya Ali. Then it comes to Ya Budduh, where is the Budduh, where the, you know, where does it stop? Yeah, uh, Budduh. Maybe Buddha, you don't know. Yeah. Uh, like this, somebody will tell you, my brother, this is Tawiz, there is nothing. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Yasmin or Yasmin? Ya Sin, Mim, Ya Noon. Ya Sin, Ya Sin. Ya Sin. I don't know that, Mim, Ya Noon. Ah, Samin. Ya Samin. Ya Samin. Ya Fat One. Yasmin in Arabic, or or a lady her name Yasmin. Now here this guy here wrote Bismillah and then Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Mubarak ala Muhammad underneath. But because now Ya Alif Sin Mim Ya Nun. I don't know whether this Mim it's it's look to me Yasmin. Yasmin, which means a lady. And then Yasmin, Jasmin. Yeah, for the hello. Now, here, Ya Shafi, Ya Shafi, Ya Shafi. All Ya Shafi, Ya Rahman, Ya Rahman, Ya Rahman. All. Let me make you relax a little bit, my brother, inshallah. This is another Tawis. Can you anybody guess what this Tawis? All these Tawis are all folded up. Please, can you guess this Tawis? It's color one, mashallah. Huh? Pictures? Mashallah, mashallah. Pictures. Uh, no. Green dome or tile? Jazakallah. 
this, this, mashallah, the, this uh, uh, Uncle G, whatever, or, or Pierre Saab, whatever, forgive me, my brother. Uncle G. Uncle G. Pierre Saab. Always, whatever. He ran out of papers. <laughs> this is this is the you know you know the heading of the cal cal calendar. The calendar heading you find. Huh? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Mecca al-Mukarrama. Madina al-Mukarrama. كل عام وانتم بخير. Happy New Year. Forgive me, my brother. Rawal Pandi Pakistan. Rawal Pandi Pakistan. Inshallah, it's not your answer. That is really, you know, the most I don't know what to make of this. This is you are going to get cured. My brother, you will be majnoon. Your brain will go beyond Mecca and Medina. If you put this in your chest. It's in Pakistan, talking about Medina and Mecca and saying Happy New Year. And he's putting it together. How many rupees does he take for that? Giving it to the person, putting it there. He walks away thinking he's going to be protected now. And anxiety and depression <laughs> all come to you. you. It's what, you know, this is the state of the ummah today, my brothers. And this one, mashallah, the Uncle G, Jazakallah. My view work with him, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle G, he ran out of paper. He used a receipt. He used a receipt. <laughs> 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 Maybe it's his own receipt. His own receipt. He's charged them. Yeah. 28 pounds, <laughs> 28 pounds, and it says 20 pounds VAT. Eight, 28 pounds, it's his own writing. His own writing. Then he's all folded all up, there, put it inside, and there he goes. There is, there is another uncle, he likes newspaper too much. It was really the junk. It's the junk. My daily junk. <laughs> and this is Taoist, my brothers. He's like a newspaper. I tried to figure out. I couldn't read it. Then, 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 then noon, meme, 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 alif, alif. Come on, my, come on, my dear brother. That's why ulama they said move away from the Tawis, and for the sake, for your sake. And when people come, look, my dear brother, look carefully. When some youngsters like yourself, mashallah, they are not hesitant to to give me Tawis. Uh, middle age, ladies, who oh, please don't. Yani, now this is the shirk itself. You are, you don't let me take Tawiz, yeah. so you put your trust, your shifa in Tawiz, not in Rabba Tawiz. Yes. Huh? So that's why, yani, the danger when people cleanse, cleanse on Clean. piece of paper. Yeah. 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 When, when, when they hold on to, when you have it on you so long, you become attached okay. to this thing. You know, she's middle-aged all these years, and along comes Muhammad take, take this off. She's not going to take it from her part. She's not going to part from it. So now it clearly shows she's put a trust in that. There is, there is one, there, there is this one dangerous. I try to figure, I read it, and I keep reading it, I keep reading it. Ilahi bihormat Ibrahim Allah. Ilahi, my Lord, if we can't the sanctity of Ibrahim Allah. And then Ibrahim is Allah. Yeah, but the sanctity of Ibrahim, Allah. Look, Ilahi, the Hormat Ibrahim. By if, the sanctity of Ibrahim. If they stop here, it's okay. We yeah. will, we will, like, yeah. allow it. But Ibrahim, Allah. But the sanctity of Ibrahim, Allah. And I could be wrong, anybody who read Arabic, inshallah, to give me, inshallah, uh, 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 support, inshallah. Ilahi, the Hormat Ibrahim, Awham. أوهم ألف وأوها من أوهم أوهم ذنب يعني يعني وهم dream أوهم يعني it might be it make people وهم يوهم أوهم okay cause people to have عفوا لا 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 مشوا أوهم لا هو هي هم هم لكن أوهم نعم أوهم الأوهم ديسيف أوهمني ديسيفني ديسيفني لا 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 لا
There is, there is another. Oh, my Lord, Ilahi, by the sanctity of Ibrahim, deceive me. Oh, him or something like that, subhanAllah. Or, or uh, 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 Ibrahim, al Oham. Or Ibrahim is the deceiver. Should be, should be, al or should, deceived. Or. Should be in Arabic, al Alham. Al Alham. Alham is not the right one. Alham is so the one who has, like, one who has hikmah, wisdom. Al Alham is Allah al Hikmah. Like Al Khudr, Al Khudr and Musa alayhi salam, Al Khudr was, يعني, Allah tabarakatan, he gave him Al Ilham, he, he, he was doing the things, and Musa alayhi salam, he said to Al Khudr, why, why are you doing this? Yeah, he gave him wisdom, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him wisdom. So, uh, uh, so we go to the, 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 the other one, inshallah. Ilahi bi hurmat Ibrahim, khawas. Special, special. Tawas or awam? By the sanctity of Ibrahim, special. And there is another one, I don't know whether he did. Mughfi or Mughfi. Mughfi doesn't make sense. Mughfi, he did. The hidden one. Ilahi bi harmat Ibrahim, Mughfi. Then he said here, Ashab al Kaf. The Kaf, you know, the six or the seven. The one was it? I don't know why some peer and movies, whatever, they, 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 they speak about the six, even their, their dog, Wakalbuhum. Kalbuhum Ketmir. Wakalbuhum. Kalbuhum is Ketmir. Now, now. Ketmir. Ketmir, the name of, of. Look, if you want, you know, if you go to the doctor and the doctor give you seven stones or give you. Forgive me, my brother. He gave you seven lines. Michael Jackson, he gave you this. And, excuse me, what is this? Are you making a joke? And then when this, you know, they give you the name of these people. Okay, these people, inshallah, salihin. These people, ashab al kaf the one who died in the kaf Okay, Allah, wallahu tabarakatan, a'lamu bihim. But you and me, their name, it doesn't, you know, it's not, it's not a parasite in is their name name, but their name cannot. If they are alive, maybe you give them a call. If they are in Saudi Arabia or Pakistan, no. Sheikh, Jazakallah khair, ad'ili. You can't say to anybody, please, can you make dua? That is permissible. Don't say to somebody, make stikhara for me. Jazakallah khair. You know, many brothers and sisters, they come say, Abu Muhammad, somebody did stikhara for me. And I said, okay, what this guy said, he did the stikhara, and he finds something. Can I drive your car, and you are not in it, and you get to your destination? No. I'm going to do business with you. And Abdul Qadir, he does a stikhara for you, for me. It doesn't work. Yeah. It must be me and you. You will say to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, brothers, shall I correct me? Because sometimes when I speak too much, I eat. You know, I want to do with my brother business. I ask Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, Ya Allah, إِذَا كَانَ اللَّهُمَّ إِنِّي أُرِيدْ أَنْ أَعْمَلْ بِزْنِسْ مَعَ أَخِي مُحَمَّدْ عَبْدُ الصَّمَدْ عَبْدُ الرَّعُوفِ اللَّهُمَّ إِذَا كَانَ فِي هَذَا الْعَمَلْ فِي هَذَا الْبِزْنِسْ خَيْرْ فَقَدِّمُ or oh, Allah give me baraka, give me a sign, this work, this business is going to be good for me. And then you will wait. Or oh, Ya Allah, if it's not, is this business is not going to be good for me, asrif me anhu. Move me away from it and move me away from. I done stikhara, you do you do stikhara. Not, not a third person. Not the third person. This okay. is something very common in our culture where our mothers and grandmothers used to hire for us and so on and so forth. But this is not permissible. But our mothers, what they think in their mind is a dua. Yes. It is not istikhara, which means you are going to do dua. You are not going to see a, a, a film, DVD. To them that you are going, but we have to make it clear for them that istikhara means there is istishara mashwara. Then the istikhara. Istikhara means he choose for you. Nobody can choose for you than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you say, Ya Allah, 
and you put the trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will choose. Oh, Ya Allah, I want to get married to this lady. Ya Allah, if this lady is good for me in my dunya and my deen, Ya Allah, bring her close to me. Ya Allah, if she's not good, move her away from me and bring me somebody. I will tell you briefly about Stikhar. One sister, three, three weeks ago, she come, inshallah, she come and she said to me, Ya Abu Muhammad, I find that the husband who she get married very, very dangerous and very, very bad indeed. He nearly make her kafir. And he is kafir. He become kafir because he deal with the things which take Muslim out of Islam. This sister, mashallah, tabarakallah, she did stikhara. In the stikhara, she saw a man want to kill her, running after her to kill her, huh? with a sword. I said to her, yeah, my sister, that is stikhara, when you did stikhara, Allah give you the answer that this man is not good for you. She said, I knew, but the blind need. Yeah. When, when, you know, the, 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 the love, the, the love, foolish. Love is blind. So, mashallah, tabarakallah, alhamdulillah, al-rabb al-kareem, inshallah, this lady, alhamdulillah, by the will of Allah Ta'ala, she's not with that person. So again, coming back to istikhara, you do it for yourself. Mashallah, alhamdulillah, this is beautiful faces with the nur, inshallah, you do it for yourself. If your mom asks you, tell her, I can do for you, for you dua. Ya yeah, mama, just ask Allah, Ya Allah, I want to go tomorrow to Pakistan, or India, Morocco, Saudi Arabia. Ask Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala whether it's going to be okay for you. Or I want to go, Wallahi my brother, brothers and sisters who travel to their country, they said, I wish I did. Me, the servant of Allah, the weak person here, I didn't do stikhara, and I was traveling. It was Salat al-Isha, somebody gave me a lift. I finished Salat al-Isha, and I was coming. I said to him, Jazakallah khair, my brother Nurdin. Wallahi, I am traveling tomorrow. But I did, I don't feel. I bought a ticket, everything, people are waiting for me somewhere. There is no reverse. But if there is yaqeen, strong yaqeen, اقطع ticket, والسلام عليكم. لكن خلق الإنسان عجولة. إنسان عجولة. Huh? Money, dunya, uh, your brothers from the other side, he's Imam, he's Mufti, yet when he comes to money, Salam alaikum. The, these people, he said to these people, said, Abu Muhammad, you, you have to come to sort your problem with us, otherwise, otherwise, we are not, you know, we are not going to deal with These brothers put, you know, push me to go, and Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala, Hikmat Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I pay the price for going. So this is istikhara. Now, the Sahaba al-Kiram, they used to do istikhara. Kana yu'allimuna Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, hatta kayfa, fi ma ma'na marbat ni'al. How to tie our laces. They used to ask istikhara even for how to do the shoelaces. Okay? Let's come in back again for the please again. Please, inshallah. If you feel bored, tell me to come now. Because I don't want you to get upset or you are not happy. And inshallah, then. Inshallah, we'll do, we'll do another 10 15 minutes on the Tawis. For this one, yeah. Yeah, Tawis. And then, inshallah, we'll show some more video footage. Some so, more explanations. So, 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 experiences. Akhi, there is another Tawis. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Underneath. Huwa, 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 huwa. And underneath. Allah, 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 Allah. Udan, Udan, hai, hai, hai. My brother, if you, if you say, uh, if you say huwa and you say it fast, huwa, 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 then you end up saying how, how, how. Who say how? In Arabic, we said the one who said dog. How, 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 how. So when you do it fast, you end up how, 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 how. Have you heard, you know, that? Yeah, you, must have, you know the brain is here. Sorry. You know the, the, the brain is or the soul. You know, look, concentrate with me. Forgive me. Ho, 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 ho. Then you end up saying ho, ho, ho. 
Allah tabarak wa ta'ala jaddu jallu a'udhu billah Allah subhanahu you are not calling the dog you are calling Allah tabarak wa ta'ala Allah hu Allah hu 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 when you when you carry on hu hu you end up not calling dog see what they say they say hu wa hu wa on its own they say Allah 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 on its own and they also say Allah hu Allah hu Allah hu when you say hu 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 you know where they Allah hu is from the word Allah on its own with the ha on the end Allah hu they they're not making Allah Huwa al ahad Allah huwa al razzaq They're not doing that. They're just saying Allah, but they're stressing the hu at the end of the word Allah. And there's no legislation whatsoever in the Sharia that or any adhkar which is authentically reported from the Prophet that he ever made a dhikr saying Allah on its own. He always said Allahu Akbar or Allah, uh, uh, Allah razzaq or something. Okay. Um, let's. Um, any brother. Um, what's your name? You, uh, any brother? I, I'm, go, I'm going to call you. Uh, any, your name is all Muhammad. <coughs> Listen to me, Kabul. Muhammad, I'm calling you, yeah? Jazakallah khair, mashallah. Good, naam. Muhammad. 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 You didn't get fed up. <laughs> Muhammad. These people say, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Allah. <laughs> Don't you think Allah will tell him you're stupid? What do you want? <laughs> when you say Ya Allah, Ya, ya Rahman, what? <coughs> Arhamni. Ya Rahman, Allah Rahman. <coughs> Forgive. Forgive me, my brother. I just want to, to, to make you understand. You know, when you say, <laughs> when you say Ya Allah, and Allah is waiting for you. It's like I come and knock on the door. Who is it? Who is it? Forgive me, mother. You will tell me, shut your face. Or I will come and break your face. You are dealing with Allah. Ya Allah. Ya Mut'al. Ya Hanan. Ya Mannan. Ya Badi' al-Samawati wal-Adhi. Ya Dil Jalani al-Ikram. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ya, if you have a trouble, if you're stuck and the jinn want to harm me, يا حيو يا قيوم يا حيو يا قيوم يا حيو يا قيوم قيوم السماوات والأرض يا حيو يا قيوم أسماء الله الحسنى وده ده 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 the most the most greatest of the names of Allah سبحانه وتعالى الحيو القيوم الحيو القيوم when you say that from your heart the jinn burn you know we don't have يقين our عقيدة our يقين weak Somebody, Tabi'i, or somebody was riding with his horse. Then a gangster jumped and he wanted to kill him and take his money. He looked at him. This Tabi'i or this man, very small and very short. And this one, big man. And he said to him, Okay, if you want to take him by my money or whatever I have on top of my horse, or my mule, probably this, he doesn't have horse because horse is, is, is expensive. Might be mule or his son, whatever. He said to him, for the sake of the one who created him, let me do Turqa and then do whatever. Huh? Then he made a dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala while, while he was in sujood. And then, if, I, if I'm not wrong, he said, Ya Hayyu, Ya Qayyum, Bika Staghitha Protect me, O oh protector. He is doing that. That is so good. And when he finished the prayer, he looked. He found that person dead. Man qatalahu, who killed him? Al Hayy My brother, dear brother, respected elders, your humble servant of Allah. My brother, inshallah, I'm probably going to do publicity. There is the DVD and this and that, you will see them in the future. Well, I, my brother, I am not a really very religious man, I am modern. But I'm dealing with the jinn, and I want to show the jinn, you are weak. You cannot harm me, you cannot threaten me. But in my heart and soul, inside, I tell, ya, I, I say to Allah, Ya Allah, don't let me down. Ya Allah, don't make me as a mockery in front of this jinn. I am not showing enough. Ya Allah, I don't want this jinn to beat me. 
then you will make mockery of the rapping. You will say, I will smack you, your rapping. When I speak, I said this from the bottom of my heart. I do that while I'm doing Rukia. Maybe Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala, He gave me that five minute power because I'm begging Allah, Ya Allah, there is a jinn here and there is two sisters, two brothers. Show the jinn and show the sister that a tawheed. La ilaha illallah. When you have that, Inshallah, the one. Um, the jinn was 17 meter tall. He said to me, Abu Muhammad, look, you know the lamppost out, outside your house, electricity, you know the lamppost in the street. He said to me, look, and he, <clears throat> now this is serious business. I'm, I'm, I'm small. And he said to me, I am 17 meter and I can't harm you. Now I am in the hand of Allah Tabarakata. Now is a test for me. These jinn want to humiliate me. I said to him, me, small, but I am very small and I'm going to beat you with one, three inch or four inch. And I said, Allahu Akbar. Just like this. He screamed. Ah! Yani, when I said this, I said it from my heart. Maybe if I meet somebody, I wouldn't do it. Because now this is the test. And to all my brothers and sisters, don't fear a jinn. Don't fear shaitan. You fear shaitan if you are away from Rahman. Me, I fear if I miss Fajr prayer. I fear if I'm not in wudu, I fear if I don't do namaz in the mosque if I live near mosque. And the Prophet ﷺ, he said, and if you mahna, man sallal fajra, fahuwa fi aman, fi aman, fi aman. He who does fajr prayer, he will be under Allah protection, Allah uh, protection, reservation. Huh? Man sallal fajr, fahuwa fi aman, fi aman. Hatta al Isha. Whoever uh, prays Fajr in Jamaat, in the masjid that he is in, under the protection or the dhimma, the responsibility of Allah until Salat al Isha. Woman salla al Isha fi Jamaa, fa huwa fi aman, fa huwa fi aman, fa huwa fi aman, hatta hatta al Fajr. And whoever prays Isha in Jamaat, then he is in the protection under the responsibility of Allah until Fajr. There, there, there is many. Now it's look like a, forgive me, I, I, sometimes I joke, you, so you don't get bored. You know this bicycle the, 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 with the uh, big uh, pedicle, yeah, bicycles with a big wheel. It look like it. <laughs> so this is how they write in their Dawis, pedicle. These bicycles, designs, nice designs now, you know? The, 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 this is the thing, you see, some of our people are so ignorant to Al Islam, the Arabic language, reading and writing, that when they see this decorative writing, they are amazed by this and think this must be something good. And there is something here, my brother, forgive me. Now, Medina, Medina, Milicha, Max Laminia, Masita, this is probably the name of uh, Ahlul Kahf or something that. Now, look. What to do with Medina? Medina here, Medina. Then Al Baqir, Al Baqir. All you know the Baqir. Mashallah. The Baqir. Where is the Shuhada? The Barakallah, Jazakallah. Maqbara, Qabristan, where the most of Sahaba are buried there. Here, Medina, Medina, Baqir, 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 and these are the names. What to do with the Medina? Medina, she's, Medina is going to cure me. Forgive me, my brother. Uh, Dallas or in New York, Morocco, Marrakesh. Yeah. Uh, and you, huh? Capital City. Capital City, mashallah. Just miss this about this. It's, one. it's good for your brain. Um, inshallah, maybe I will stop with this one. Inshallah. This is last week, somebody <coughs> come and I did the rukia for him. Forgive me again, please, inshallah. If you are, inshallah, not happy, 
Imam Mitan Abu Muhammad Abori. This young man, mashallah, like this young man, mashallah, I, I, I made his picture like so nobody will recognize. Uh, again, this is an Arabic. What's that picture inside? Look, the picture it was here, oh. and with with a with, oh. with, with, with a needle. Oh, the needle. Naam. Look, good picture. What they want of this man from this man? This is Jadu. This is not Tawiz. All this, Magic. all this, Tawiz. But 90% of what we see, what we saw, is more jadu than Tawiz. Okay? More magic than amulet. Now, with this one, what they did to this young man? When I saw him, I scared from him. He was looking at me, it's like he was, he had two kilograms of cocaine. <laughs> he scared me, his face was black. And I don't know how it cocaine, cocaine. Shofa, in, in Arabic, well, well written. Qabih min hadhi al Ugly from this land. Huh? But the other one, Mata sayatim tahdeet. In Arabic, tahdeet, but tahdeet, I didn't understand. If anybody, mashallah, from our brother, inshallah, to give me, inshallah, to support me in this. Uh, then, وَتَأْتِي هَذِهِ الْأَرْضُ لَكَ إِسْتِدْعَى وَأَقِفْ أَقْوَى The land will come to you. وَتَأْتِي هَذِهِ الْأَرْضُ The land will come to you. إِسْتِعْدَى إِسْتِدْعَى And fight. رحمه الله. وَتَأْتِي It will come this earth to you. Uh, request istidaa uh, istidaa to request uh, at your request, at your request yes. barakallahu fiikum you will be something in the future wa aqif aqwa and stand firm huh this is tawiz was tawiz huh did you make anything of it did you make no this is more jabu magic magic yeah? magic because well, when i say tawiz what i mean this is the tawiz in the sense of what the the, the general people muslims are wearing around their neck i think it's a tawiz but it's not a Ta'wiz, and you it's have, a magic. And you have, inshallah, please, to distinguish with Ta'wiz and with, with a Jadu. If you go to anybody, uh, يعني, Mufti, and this is the problem, mashallah, this is from Mufti. This lady, mashallah, or this somebody who come to see me, the mother, she give me this. And I said to him, mashallah, tabarakallah, have you seen have did your son did rupia before she said what's rupia i said somebody to read on your son al quran or make him dua for at least half an hour she said no but i went to our mufti whatever he gave me this mashallah just allah the mufti and my Allah subhanahu give him more ilm and more knowledge mashallah you know, with the, بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سلام عليكم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا يا علي يا علي هذا مفتي هي سكونينج علي رضي الله عنه وارضاه فكهر فك فكهر فكهر مجائب العجائب I really don't understand how they expect anybody to read this. I don't think it's written for anybody to read it. No, they, they don't want you to read it. Yeah. And that's why they put it like this and they put it like And they tell you, don't, don't open it. Yeah, don't open it. With due respect to my brother, Shalom, please, please, I urge you. Um, we love you in the sake of Allah Ta'ala. In, in, in North Africa, I am from that part of the world, Algeria. They don't give us Tawis like this. They give us something big like this, and they said, put it under your pillow, or dilute it in water and drink it. Some of them, you, they look, mashallah, when you look at them, you go to this, to see them, you find sukun. What they do, you will find them, they have a qalam, uh, with, with the qasam. Uh, ink. Uh, ink with a cane, huh? you know, cane, cane. Oh, sugar yeah. cane, barakallah. Sugar, today I was going to bring it, but I thought it might be too. Now? Killing fruit. Yeah. 
Jazakallah. Yani now, if you want to, if you want to do, if you want to do taweez, the halal one, the proper one, take a paper, a proper paper, not like this one with the line. Get wood like this. Uh, any? You dip it onto ink and write it with wood no. after cleaning it. Or, or the toothpick. Get um, saffron. Saffron. Barakalavi. Put saffron in something like this. Put some zimzum water. Um, rose, rose water. Zimzum water. Rose water. Rain water. And then, if you are not a hurry, Leave until <coughs> Zafran <coughs> Then inshallah write Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim There is six ayahs of his shifa I will tell you my dear brothers inshallah later on I read this ayah to you inshallah and what you do write this right, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim and then Allahumma salli wa sallam wa barik ala Muhammad Always you start with Bismillah, glorify Allah, the Barakul. Then write Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. And the end, say Allahumma salli wa sallam wa barak ala Muhammad. Because if you don't write Allahumma salli ala Muhammad, the ingredient is not complete. So, takhtam al kitaba bi Allahumma salli wa sallam. Even when you do dua, start glorify Allah, Bismillah, glorify Allah. Then Allahumma salli wa sallam, marad Allah, matkaram wa barak ala Muhammad, wa ala ala Muhammad. Then, Say your dua and then conclusion, Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barak ala Muhammad, inshallah your dua will be accepted. And now we are talking about uh, 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 writing. writing. Take a white paper like this and there is another one, yani natural one, is about 60 pound for the packet. Um, the, there is uh, uh, organic. No, like this, A4 pages, A4 pages, but organic. This paper, there is a chemical. But the other one, and one sheikh, he told me. I was surprised, mashallah. May Allah reward him, mashallah. He said, you can get it from America. Yeah, I'm not sure. I was yeah. It was made by uh, rice. So you, if, you, if you can, mashallah, if not, you can do it in piece of cloth, white, and write inshallah, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Allahumma ashfi anti shafi. La shifa illa shifa uka shifa ula wa adun sakhama. Write this deep, and then dilute it inside. Take this piece of paper and put it inside the zamzam water and rain water and the Suffering, and then write the ayat inshallah. Do not it and drink it. That's Tawiz halal 100%. Imam Ahmed al Shafi'i, um, uh, Ibn Taymiyyah, Ibn al Qayyim, they used to allow this to, this is permissible. But, na'am Is that from experience or is that something from the. Uh, from, from me or them? If you want for me, I will give you experience. Not this, but the lotus tree. What a cedar. Naba. Cedar. The, 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 the ulama said take seven. Uh, by the way, by the way, they are outside. So the, the, the brother who are outside, you will check. This is the brother's outside. He will be selling this uh, cedar, low tree stuff. And, uh, there is two. Pieces. There is two. There is a sinner. It's excellent. The sinner was prescribed by the Prophet. Sinner. 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 You will, you, will find, you will find it in the chemist as well as uh, a tablet. So, this is cedar by experience. If somebody is not getting married, and then, you know, the night when the husband go to meet his wife, whatever. But, by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then, by the maka'id shaitan the brother, he cannot perform what a man can perform. What the ulama said, take seven leaves of cedar, uh, crush, them. crush it, ground it, put it in the water, drink, sip, three sips or seven, and the rest, 
throw it on your body, you will be mashallah like BMW. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, this inshallah, uh, 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 this not zafran, uh, uh, you know, tabi'i, but the sidr, which I'm going to tell you, and the sinna, the sidr, Ibn Abbas, radiallahu anhu wa uh, he mentioned that when he asked the Prophet sallallahu about the sidr, you know, in Mecca, when you are in Mecca, you are not allowed to cut any trees or, huh? Haram. Zagullah. Only, I think, the cedar tree, Ibn Abbas, radiallahu anhu wa he said to him, Ya Rasulullah, we cure our patient with uh, cedar. So I think if I'm not wrong, inshallah, somebody to correct me. So it was allowed or to, to take the, from the cedar, or actually the cedar, like I said, seven leaves to be grounded, to put in water and to live. That authentic, inshallah. Uh, uh, Sina, the Prophet Sina, he ordered one uh, Sahabiya, I cannot remember the, the, the name. He said to her, don't use that stuff, but use, I forgot, she used something very, uh, huh? something like a chili, but not a chili. I forgot the name. But he said to her, that is very hot. Use the Sina. Okay? What was your actual question, Jazakallah? The, uh, the rainwater, the writing of the Kavi, was that based on text of the experiences of But the experience. experience. Now I'm telling you, inshallah, about Siddha. When I do the Rukia, like you, 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 you saw me on the, on the DV, when the jinn start getting, you know, strong and try to get humble, so we put them, inshallah, down by the blessing of Allah Ta'ala, we start, you saw me, my brother, I spray water. Huh? That water, there is, inshallah, Quran or something. Quran, zam zam water, rain water. وَنُنَزِّلُ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ وَنُنَزِّلُ مِنَ الْمَاءِ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ حَيَّةٍ We descend from the rain, everything, every living, حَيَّةٍ Allah يفتح عليك, Allah يحيك, inshallah. وَجَعَنَّا مِنَ الْمَاءِ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ حَيَّةٍ we made from the water everything live. That's why I use the rain. And the rain from, from where come from? من أين تأتي أتي المطر والسماء في من الجنة. The rain water come from جنة. زمزم from جنة. الفرات من الجنة. النايل من الجنة. هذا كله. If you get this water, inshallah, together, mashallah. So we use that. Ibn Baz Ali Rahmatullah, when they ask him about, uh, I think, about Sidr and about other things, he said, as long as it's not shirk, as long as it's not haram, you can see, and it's beneficial, use it. And now, the brothers who are doing Europea, some brothers, they read only Quran. Some brothers, they read, uh, they, do, they do dua. Some of us, they use just Asha, herb. You find this brother, he's, uh, he said Asha, and he treat uh, somebody, he use hijab. But I uh, will say to the brother, use everything. So. Okay, Ibn uh, Abbas, uh, he said to them, as long as it's, it's, it's not, it's not shirk, use it. Okay, uh, just to conclude to this, Jazakallah, forgive me, inshallah. So, now, I don't want you, my brother, when you go to your mosque and you look at your mufti and you put question mark. And probably you don't deal with him again. No, Jazakum Allah khair. And when you go to, to the people give ta'wiz, if you find them, they get annoyed when you ask them what is inside. Or please, can you write this ta'wiz in front of me? They might say, excuse me, no, no. But if they say, Masalam, you don't need dictionary. Six ayah. Put it in your water. That's my brother. This for the one who cannot read, the one not who cannot write. It goes to an ulama. They said, and all these tawis is for the children. Barakallah. Because, because look, even now, there is one danger. 
hiding for the children permissible for somebody who mentally dis disturbed I, I, I meet a brother who cannot read, who cannot write the gene, cannot let them do even wudu. So, yani ulama, the majority uh, give a permission just for the children. Mashallah, you, mashallah, tabarakallah. All of us, we read Fatiha, yes? All of us, probably 95% here, we know all ayat and kursi. Mashallah, if you don't know, Mashallah tabarakallah. Read al Fatiha, three qul. Khalas. That is freshly made tawis from your mouth. Freshly made. Right? And you do it yourself, and now, inshallah. And probably you do it halal, and before you do this, this tawis for yourself, you do two nafal, two rakah, and beg Allah tabarakallah. Ya Allah, make this tawis, or make this, or make this dua. And now, when we allow our children to put these tawis, the children, they will think that I get cured by this. And when they grow up, they always think, oh, that piece of things. But inshallah, you will, inshallah if your children grown up, tell them, yeah, I give you that because you are small. And you, but now you can do it yourself. Okay, my brother? Before I move on, uh, this next part or the last part of this uh, talk, can I just ask, is there anybody here that's wearing a tawiz now? That's willing to let us open it up and look what's in it? MashaAllah. Put your trust in Allah. MashaAllah, my brother. This one's from India, yeah? Before you open it, before you open it, because mashallah, like what we, what we said earlier, my brother, not each Tawiz is Tawiz. Maybe my mom, she pretend she love me, but unfortunately there is some moms who destroy their children. If you if you see the DVD <coughs> outside, there is a second DVD, you will find one is relative, his relative destroy him. So sometimes your mom she give you this. Obviously unknowingly. You know, unknowingly. Or or sometimes yes. She doesn't want you to marry Fatima. Oh, yes. She wants you to marry Zubida. <laughs> and the, as soon as Fatima <coughs> <laughs> and then she wants you to marry Zubida. As soon as you hear about Zubida, mashallah, you feel happy and relaxed, mashallah. About Fatima, you change. Because the, uh, because the name, there is, we call it Sihr al Mahabba, Sihr of Love. If they do, if they do Sihr for you to love somebody, life time. Do you need to do anything before you open it? Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, if you find something in your house, inshallah, take a ball. Uh, anything, anything that you suspect. Naam. Uh, papers, uh, 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 anything maghluq, anything closed. Get, inshallah, a table like this or some, you know, put cloth or, or put a ball. Any ball or plastic ball or container. And then, should there be anything in that bowl or? Just like water. Water. Any water. water. Preferably water with rukia. Okay. Okay. Huh? Water already, like something like this. Okay. Put some and spray inside it. Or take a bowl or and spit on and read the Fatiha. Ayat al-Kursi and three qul. And then, inshallah, take the things, inshallah, maybe it, uh, uh, advisable to wear gloves. And then, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Maliki Yawm al-Din, Iyaka Na'budu, while you are opening, you are reading. Inshallah, Allah will protect you. Huh?
You read Al-Fatiha, inshallah, Ayat Al-Kursi, three quotes. If you want to uh, uh, add, ma ataytum bi sihra fa inna Allah shayt. What did you come with, mashallah? What did you come with, 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 with the jadu? Allah will demolish it. This is okay, you are safe, my brother. This is mashallah, but you can do better. Mashallah, alhamdulillah. This is like this, we can say, okay, there is Bismillah rahman rahim uh, and there is three quotes. But this one ma was made by machine, photocopy. Uh, so, uh, photo this one, my brother, uh, Bismillah rahman rahim thank you so much for your courage. Alhamdulillah, Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala, he just give you a reward, you know, because Alhamdulillah, three of us, not a walk walk or anything. Bismillah ar-Rahman, qul a'udhu bi rabbi al-Nas, malik al-Nas, ilahi al-Nas, min shari al-waswas al-Khal-Nas, al-Ladhi waswisu fi sudur al-Nas, min al-Jannat. MashaAllah, Alhamdulillah. But this one, you can't read it, my brother. Alhamdulillah. Number one, it's clear you can read in Arabic. Number two, it's a surah of the surah of the Qur'an, barring this Zakhul Fadi Khrush, forget about that. Uh, this is one of the permissible types of Dawis. However, one thing Abu Muhammad didn't mention, I would like to mention, is there's another hadith of the Prophet where he said, whoever wears, wears a Dawis, he, 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 he relies upon it. And reliance is something we should only do to Allah. When you write Allah, not the paper, not the Dawis in and of itself. Because many people who wear it, they end up thinking, this is the thing which is going to protect them. I'm relying on this to protect me from all harm. Whereas Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who is the protector. Let, let us, dear brother, mashallah, is a courageous man, mashallah. Want to do this? Yes, indeed. Is can, we add this to the, can we add this to the collection? Yeah. No. Mashallah, tell me, my brother, honestly, if somebody from the street to tell you to take it out, what would be your reaction? Before, you, before huh? you came to this talk, you will tell him no. And if he tried to take it, like I know, I know people, I know that people do twist it, like you know, to make sure if that is yeah. all right. I know they write. Yeah. Yeah. Like no, no, no. Even, even this, my brother. If somebody wants to take it from you, I will let him take you it. punish him. You punch him. Yeah. So, yeah. so, mashallah, that's how people think. With me, when I try to take it. No, like Sheikh Abdul Qadir mentioned that people, they think the Shifa with a piece of paper. But I think Allah knows best also about the Hadith, about the Taweez of Jahiliya. Because Jahiliya, they used to, uh, to, to write Bism al-Shams, Bism al-Qamar in the name of the sun, in the name of the moon, al-Izza, al-Lata, al-Uzza, wa manata. So, Maybe that the Prophet he said that could be because of mm -hmm. that. Well, yet, or the other one, which is if you put it and you think that this is going to cure you, that is dangerous. That is shit. You will say, I do this because I cannot read or cannot write. Now, if you go to countryside, if you go, uh, one brother from Jama'a Tablut, he come from one part of the, the Asia. He said we met somebody 40 years, 40 years away from Moscow. He doesn't know how to say Kalima. He is 90 years old. 40 years in one place. He couldn't say Kalima. La ilaha illallah. Wahdahu la sharika la. Wa shadana Muhammad. La ilaha illa Muhammad. He couldn't say. They stay with him three days. Hatta yaqano. Wa yani qaz ala shahad. And this man is Muslim. 90 years old and he doesn't know Kalima. So they told him the Kalima and he just... So like this man, if he is very ill and there is nobody and his wife or his son, whatever, they come from 200 kilometers, 300 kilometers, they will say, Muna Nasab, oh, my father, he cannot read, he cannot do, I cannot read, please can you do right. something? He might write and he will tell them, look, with the condition. Huh? Don't think this is, is going to cure you. Allah cure you. When you go to the toilet, don't take it inside. Huh? With the conditions. And be on all the time. If you are junub quickly, 
If you are going to the toilet, take it off. If you are going to have a shower, take it off. So with this condition, and Allah knows best. No, it's not okay. So it's clearly see the difference of opinion in this matter. Uh, but the point is, uh, I think given our circumstances, the way of the community that we live in now, it's best we avoid such dawis, even if what's in it is, is, is good, because you're encouraging others to do it as well, yes. and we don't know what they're going to be putting in them. Look, as the chef said, 90% of what we showed you today had mumble jumble written in it. No. Mumble jumble, nothing really serious. So it's best to avoid just practice it. Allah uh, Okay, we're going to take some questions, inshallah, and hope you from the experience so that the chef will be able to answer, inshallah. We'll, we'll get to everybody, inshallah. We'll start with who's on my right hand side, so we'll start the brother, inshallah. So the question is, and this question is already came on a piece of paper a few times, so alhamdulillah it asks the same question as the others, which is what are the signs of a person being possessed by jinn, and what are the signs of a person um, having black magic on him? And evil eye, if we add that. And add to that the signs of evil eye. When, uh, when we read the, the one who is possessed with evil eye, normally they start yawning. And then they cry, sometimes cry from one eye. And they feel sweat. And mashallah, the evil eye is in and sometimes by the will of Allah Ta'ala, is he out? Huh? Inshallah, my brother, when you write, Inshallah, put, you know, between brackets, that's, that's, is it just Abu Muhammad? So, I'm not a scholar, please. I'm going to do many mistakes. But Inshallah, when you go, Inshallah, uh, Jazakallah, it's not, uh, not humble, but um, I brought all this, Inshallah. So, so the, the, Alamat uh, al the sign of evil eye and Allah knows best when we read it the person start yawning sweating huh? sweat al -arab, huh? and yawning and sometimes they cry um a sihr when we read the person is going to vomit huh? and they, they, they might complain of their belly the belly start getting swollen that's how the uh, magic and Allah knows best and when it comes to the jinn like, like you saw like you saw the, 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 the lady she was screaming as soon as we start reading you will sometimes is to do with magic as well but when is the when there is a, a jinn you will find the person start screaming shouting the person want to run away even um, even sometimes in gathering like this, if there is somebody possessed, either run away or you feel, you see them that they feel that their, their chest getting tight, their heart start beating fast, is like a panic attack. Inshallah, Allah knows best. Did I answer your question? One of the questions came through this, please don't say that. Is that the uh, Do the jinn have the ability to read your thoughts or know your thoughts, know what you're thinking? According to my knowledge, no. And Allah knows best. If you don't open your mouth, He's not going to know what is your heart and your mind. لا يعلم الغيب إلا الله. So what's inside, we can't classify as غيب. Nobody will know what is in your brain. Only Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. If you speak, if you phone, uh, so the, the jinn, because you have Qarin inside, the Qarin give free information. They are spies, they are in, they have internet, web, they give free information. But if you don't open your mouth, inshallah, by the will of Allah Ta'ala, uh, the jinn won't, he or she, the jinn, yeah, they don't know. So no, you're not telepathic. Then. No, they're not telepathic at all, but can I just say something on this? What's that mean? Telepathic, they can read your mind. Send no. message from send, place yeah. the they can send messages amongst themselves, but not. But they can't do it through through us. They can't read our minds. But let me just explain something. Fine. You might want to ask a question. Well, how does this jinn know about my affairs? And how, if this is the case, it's, it's crystal clear. And the Sheikh, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, we all have misguided jinn with us. 
There are jinn everywhere, evil jinn. If you do something bad, haram, the jinn is watching you. He knows your weaknesses. And you go somewhere haram, you do something haram, or you, you know, your karayim will, 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 will tell that jinn this, this, that. So now imagine a, a, a magician send a jinn now. The jinn, he has to find, find you. So you ask this jinn and ask that jinn, ask the evil people, what about this person who looks like this? And then how they find you. And when they find you, then that's how they get the information about you. So, my, one second. My point is, Akhwan, is that, um, you know, this is how the information is, is passed around. This is how uh, they can get to know your weaknesses and, and possess you all through evil eye or seha or something. On that note, so based on the, the way your career is, so depending on the amount of evil deeds you do, etc., does that trigger off the jinn? To well, not trigger off. Possess if, you're, if you have an evil jinn, uh, so if you have a, 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 a kareem with you, uh, and everybody has a kareem with you, everyone has a misguided jinn with them. So this is the one. The more bad things you do, evil deeds you do, he's watching, you can see. So you're going to pass that information along. Sahisha? Now, um, this, let's see, uh, let's see, I am possessed or a'udhu billah. Allah forbid. Me, magician. Huh? <coughs> Beg Allah, uh, pray Allah for me, inshallah. Ever, I will never ever go to that path. I have kullu sahirin. Each magician has an army. Or five, six, seven. Depend how bad is he. If he's a little bad, he will have three jinns, four jinns work with him. If he's Adullah, if he we on the Quran, if he, if he step on the Quran, if he doesn't have a shower for 40 days, if, but I don't want to tell you because I feel shy to. As much as the sahar go bad, as much as shaitan supply him. Now, now, Jazakallah, this sahar, he has two jinns. Okay? This sahar. You, my brother, you come to see this sahab. These Scotland Yard and L5, they go to, they go to, excuse me, Mike, can you give me some of them? This one, he goes to you, to the, your Qareen, give information to this one. And this one, give the information to the magician. That's why when you come, and they say, oh, did you have chapati this afternoon? <laughs> the magician straight away tell you, ah, you had chapati before you come to me. You had argument with your wife. Ah, because she gave you cold tea. And then, oh, how did he know this? You think it's mashallah, Mulana, he has, but this guy gave him information. Well, he, I know, jinni moment. There is no jinni moment. They don't work free of charge. <laughs> so this magician, <laughs> Has, I don't know what that person is. So, my brother, I don't know what I answer your question. Okay, let's, let's keep the control here. Yeah? Not everybody's asking questions about that. Hold it up, you guys. In regards to, let's say, for example, uh, people like me who are rebirth and have family who are not from an Islamic background. Mashallah, right? yes. If you go into a house, now some, you know, some places they have the pictures of evil eye, like, you know, the uh, yes. statues. No. And, is it permitted or advised for a person like myself or to walk into those houses to see the family or just stay? So you ask a question, um, is it permissible for us to walk into families or homes or where they have pictures, literal, uh, real pictures of like an evil eye there? Is it permissible <laughs> for us to go into these such houses, especially if they're houses of our relatives? This sister, she has a question from Philippines. You can't read it for the brothers and sisters. I know my brother, just here, just, uh, okay. just a couple of times. Let me answer the brother. You enter and sight is like my brother when you are desperate and there is pub over there and you are desperate to go uh, to toilet. And there is no other place, so you go there for a purpose. Now you enter to that house because either your family is there or but in your mind, in your ha uh, head, inshallah, you go and then you talk to them about it. Inshallah, oh, you know, this is haram, this is this, this is that, and give them, inshallah, and, and don't be harsh. Inshallah, go with them slowly. As, as much as you go slowly and nice, you know people, especially the old one, 
You have to be diplomatic. You have to how to how to inshallah to when you do injection, make the area inshallah nice and small, and then do it. So you have to do the process quickly because the prayer time is coming soon now. So how do you know the jinn has really left the body, the person, when you're reading on them? Um, they could be playing around, lying to you, etc. Not how would you know that the jinn has really left? You know, Allah Tabarak wa Taala, and Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is the, the the one who again alim al ghayb. But you know, by experience, by by experience, we know. And then the brother or sister they will tell you, oh, like a burden, like I give birth. It's like I felt, and I can see, like I want. I tell the jinn to go from the right, from the right. When the jinn is going by the will of Allah Ta'ala, they do like this. And again, when you deal with the jinn nicely and this and that, and you guide them and you give them da'wah, um, inshallah, you expect that by the will of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, inshallah, they are going or they go. And they can't go, they can't play around, but by, we know by experience. And we can't be we can't be wrong. The jinn can't go. Now the jinn he has gone. But you, if you open the door for the jinn, he will tell you, happy to see you again. So it's not how the jinn or how do you know how the jinn goes, but how to protect yourself that the jinn is not going to come back again. That, that's a very important answer because of the other question the sister was decided was that can the seher come back again and again and again? The so yes. answer clearly. If you open the door, then it will come. Open only if Allah wants it to come. Uh, so, so. Okay, we'll go at the back. We'll get some questions from the back after this. No. How do you protect yourself when you're doing Rukia? Because I've heard of people. Me or, or you? you? He's asking the Rukia and Muhammad, how do you protect yourself when you're doing Rukia to all these different jinn and people? So you care about me, my brother. <laughs> oh, I love you too, my brother. Wallahi, my brother. I've never thought. <coughs> My brother, Jazakallah Khair. Um, when, inshallah, you beg Allah Tabarakallah, when you enter a, a world of this. You know, the, 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 the world of the jinn. Like I said to you, I've never thought to be rapi. Until now, I don't say rapi. Uh, you know, when you want to fight Tyson, you have to be strong. You have to be strong. Now, you are fighting not Tyson, you are fighting somebody which you cannot see. Taqwa Allah, fear in Allah, Al Qiyam, Al Siyam, Al Tahajjud, whatever. You think is inshallah by the will of Allah Ta'ala, and you study and you see in a Mecca it is shaitan. You have to be careful. Don't talk too much. Don't laugh too much. I do, my brother. Don't laugh too much. And you don't be without wudu. Yani, as assume by the will of Allah Ta'ala, I cannot stay without wudu for five minutes. Okay? And there is things which I don't want to tell you, I cannot tell you otherwise. Otherwise, I will be showing up. Huh? Uh, my brother, one day, um, I did Rukia for one brother. This brother is Taliban. He's a student from Medina. I find him, he has seven genes. He is Taliban student, yes? And I said, SubhanAllah. What's your name? All these questions. I said, where did you come from? They said, you come from Israel. What is your mission? He said, we, a group of jinn, we target ulama, scholars, tulab al-ilm, jama'at al uh, Maybe somebody is laughing here, mashallah. No, you know, maybe we, we, yeah. we disagree. Hmm? But one thing, you know, these people, even they are, because they are going to speak, uh, in this, in this, one point, 
let we live my belief. But these people, and I will tell you, my brother, I did Rukia on one brother, Tablighi, two of them. The jinn come from Marseille, from, from France. Who sent him a priest? I will talk about this in. So, أي إنسان يدعو إلى الله تبارك وتعالى فهو معرض. So, so <coughs> anybody who calls for us, whether they're doing innovation or shirk or anything, they will be open to this kind of attack and be targeted. The reason why you have to bear in mind that the asal of the jinn is to make you a kafir. If you can't make you a kafir, then innovate. If you can't make you innovate, then sin. If you can't make you sin, then make you have problems in your life at the least. If this, 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 there's different levels of how they attack you, you see. You must scratch your back. <laughs> so, you know, there is malaika hawa moon. There is malaika, some, look, this jinn, they do this work. And there is malaika who their job, they fly, and their job is to go to a mosque and to see the halaqat al-dhikr. They go and see Islamic gathering. What they do? They give information to Allah Taala. They come down. They give a blessing, glad tidings. On the other hand, there is a shayatin. They said our job is to target the one ulama, to label him, anybody who speak down. I said, okay then. How you do it? He said, we make them laugh too much, to eat too much, uh, to like ladies, um, other few things. Talk to me. And then we make them look like stupid. So if I am Daiya and I look like stupid, then you see me in McDonald's standing up and eating. He says, Abu Muhammad, come on. So, and you don't know your brother. That is weak hadith, I think. Yeah. Uh, 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 you know, they said that there is hadith. Seek 70 excuses for your brother and sister. If you don't find one, blame yourself. If this hadith is fabricated or weak, might be. So, but the behind. يعني, يعني, Understanding, or we can use that that hadith for muamala. Okay, jazakallah khair. So to make you know the the talib hand to make him look like stupid and this and so there is no no respect. Khalas, this man they don't fool. I said to him, did you manage to get some? He said yes. Ulama from Libya, from Saudi Arabia, we managed to. I said, Adam. He said, yes. I said, how can you know? He said, if Adam is arrogant, it's easy. Mutakabir, pride. Well, you have that, don't praise your brother in front of you. Because you stop him. Abdul Qadir, Abdul Qadir, Salman. When Abdul Qadir, Rahullah, Mashallah, Abdul Qadir, Sheikh Abdul Qadir. But like this, Khanjou, did I answer the question? No, sure. Sorry, I talked too okay. much and I forget to listen to the back there. Ah, this one. Sorry. If someone's done it, like, do you, can you tell from the jinn who's done it? Speak loud. He's, he's asking, if somebody sent a magic on you, yeah. can, you uh, can you ask the jinn who sent the magic? And is most of the magic done here? Is it by, I mean, most of the jinns are possessed with them? Is it done by magic or do some of them? Yeah. Some. And, some. and, and, and is, is the magic which is done, is it mostly done by jinn? By, by, yeah? by, the peop by the people who, who, who do they do they mainly use jinn? Yeah. Is that what your question is? Yeah, the magicians. Yeah, do the magicians use jinn all the time or others? Most, 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 of, most of the time. You know, like this this jinn with the, with the, with the, with the sister, this jinn had been sent by the magician, and this jinn you find them very hard and difficult and and, and not easy to go. Uh, Sometimes you have a magic jadu. Somebody give you a cup of tea. Somebody give you a nice Coca Cola, and you are thirsty, and you know that you know come, you, you like come, and you drink it. Salam alaikum. This magic is just magic. This one, inshallah, by the will of Allah, easy to get rid of this. But there is some uh, there is some magic which is muwakkil 
Bil jinn. So the jinn will, pro he, the jinn who is the one who put that magic in your belly, and he is the one who is going to protect it, and he won't let the jinn dissolve. Did that answer? And also, like, say someone's done it in the family, say someone's done it in the family, yeah? Can you tell through the jinn who's done it? Number one, like, uh, like, uh, 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 Abdul Qadir said, the jinn, uh, we have to, to, to put the word right. Uh, no, Then sometimes you say to somebody you lie, and you say to somebody you are a liar. We cannot say to the about the jinn they are liars. So they lies. A different, you know, there's a difference between are they liars huh? and lying in and of itself. The action and the person. The and Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "Minhum muqsituna wa minhum duna dhal." There is some good ones and some bad ones. If we say al jinn kulluhum kadibun, all the jinn liars, yani we are contradicting. No, they would be opposing the the, the ayah of the Quran. However, if you saw Sheikh, the people who didn't know it, you know, you'd follow. No, how many will will hear that? Ah, no, that one, that one, that one. Yeah, yeah. For, I think they would have. And that one, that one, that one. So the ones who actually possess, them ones, Sheikh says, definitely these are the liars. They 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 lie. But if they're not possessing them, generally you can't say the jinn are all liars. One second. When you're up there, yeah? Yeah, I was just thinking, uh, the one that uh, said, uh, uh, and they use pictures. Pictures, you say? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Depend, my brother, depend. Let's see somebody take your picture to whatever, whatever part of the world. Some magician use the picture. Some of them use your hair, some of you use your nail, some of them use just, you know, the, the sweat of your t-shirt. <coughs> but you know, these days, pictures are so easy to get hold of now. Yes, my like, brother. As opposed to hair and fingernails, I mean, pictures, everybody taking photographs, you know, in the computer. That's, this is Mosiba. This, uh, this is not also in, in, in our favor. I will tell you, my brother, is more than that. And you wouldn't believe what probably I'm going to tell you. The jinn, when you send your CV through the email, the jinn can go, the jinn is looking at you, I'm going to send you to Sainsbury. Sainsbury, wherever. Turn down the street. <laughs> this Mr. Jinn, he goes to Mr. Abdul Qadir. No. Allah <laughs> protect. What's your name? You are happy, don't worry. The, the director of the company, Saeed, this gym, he read my CV. He goes to Saeed, excuse me, this guy, Saeed, alhamdulillah, he received my, my email, or whatever. He's looking. But this guy, not this one. Said he's reading. Yeah. The the whisper in, in that director's ear. Said there. Inshallah, by, this one, this one. by the will of Allah, the by, by the will of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, that's what happened with yeah. me and I spoke. And the jinn, he said, I went to the, like Said, and I told him, not this one. So Mr. Said, he he, he doesn't even read. Do you believe in this? Yeah. Yes. Can I just add something here? Yeah? Very crucial. The example the Shaykh gave. How easy is it for the Shayateen, for the evil jinn, to break brotherhood there? Yeah? <coughs> to make people think bad of the, this person. <coughs> Someone writes a, a nice letter to somebody, Shaytan whispers in his ear, oh, he meant this by his words, he meant that by his words, and then you start having hatred and dislike for your brother. You understand? And vice versa. And emails. Actually, how many problems have you ever had with emails going across to each other? People misunderstanding. Why? Because somebody's sitting with that other brother through the, while you're emailing him and dialoguing and debating with him. He's the, whispering other things in his head. Sometimes better just to remove yourself from the situation. So take here, one. Uh, one second. Right at the back there, brother. Right at the back.
Just to let you know, from before we we'll continue with these questions and answers, outside, inshallah, or in the masjid, in the masjid bookshop, we have DVDs of Abu Muhammad. They're for sale, inshallah, and 50% uh, of, of what you, you purchase here goes for da'wah, ilallah. So please, inshallah, purchase these DVDs uh, if you're going to leave earlier. Good question, yeah, I just wanted to know where the chef lives and how we can contact him. Send one gin and shall I give you a <laughs> Sorry, but the card outside. You can pick up his card outside, inshallah. But please, I beg you, I urge you, inshallah, forgive me, forgive me. I am fully booked until December. If somebody, when you, you speak to my son, whatever, please, please don't tell him I want to speak to him. Just say I, I want appointment, otherwise you might not have a chance to speak to me because I will be very, very busy. And please, please, wallahi, and Allah knows best that I am fully booked. Okay. You see, and don't get upset, but always there is, inshallah, consideration. Yeah, brother, then the yellow t-shirt. How can you differentiate between evil eye and satanic whispering and, and any kind of... You for the individual. How would you, how would yeah, you differentiate yeah. between whispering right. in the air from the gin, etc., or not, and uh, evil eye? Evil eye or any. Any, my brother. Sometimes, sometimes whispering, any is, is is difficult. There is there is two whispering. One is from the Qari, you you know your companion, and there is the second whispering from the jinn if you are possessed. The, the evil eye, you know, your question, I think maybe my English is better. Um, the evil eye, there is not whispering. The evil eye doesn't bring you whispering. The evil eye is just jealousy. When somebody, the evil eye, what give you? Um, the evil eye, it give you that you hate your job, you hate this, you hate that. But come back. Um, it's what the Seher found that this issue of suffering from Seher magic, evil eye, you know, uh, uh, position, jinn position, etc. One of the best protections one, one can have is being upon Tawheed. Worshipping Allah in oneness, protecting this, this Tawheed and calling to a Tawheed. Because these type of people will have that extra protection from Allah Jalla So, so inshallah, uh, a Tawheed. Make that a priority of one, and learning and understanding Tawheed, and then you will feel the child the protection of Allah Jalla Ala after this. There was a question. Inshallah, uh, uh, five questions, or three, inshallah. And then. Uh, could someone be possessed by a Muslim jinn, as uh, I mean, shown in your video, like Fatima? Yeah. He's asking, is it possible for someone to be possessed by a Muslim jinn like we saw in the video of Fatima, Siddiq, etc. or not? And, I mean, back home in, in, in Asia, like, people say someone is possessed by a Muslim jinn, jinn which, tells, yeah, which tells you good things, or people go and Like he's saying, uh, people say back home that this person is possessed by a Muslim jinn, uh, so therefore he's telling good things. Mashallah, if he's, if he's good, he wouldn't be in your body. So he's done him. To enter what? The three, three bedroom house. Why he entered your body? So he's done him. The jinn, he shouldn't be in your body. So there is no, the good one, he entered the mosque, it doesn't enter the body. So he is not good. He's like, he's like Zalim, he's like, he's like, he's like a human, but he's transgressor and he's Zalim. So he shouldn't be in your body. So he's not, if, if anyone who is in your body, which means he's Zalim, he's oppressor, should, should, we should get rid of him. And huh? could be Muslim, still, still could be Muslim. Yeah, even if a Muslim is a dhan, an oppressor, is it is wrong. Well, the question is, uh, you know, to protect yourself from evil eye, you could explain that you can do the three pull and then you can um, read some ayah, the ayah to push For instance, if you would like to protect uh, your newborn baby, obviously, or, like, for instance, your, you know, new house that you just, you know, you know, Alhamdulillah, my brother, number one, you know, I start to inshallah, like uh, brother Abdul Qadir, he said inshallah, you know, try to be inshallah, close to inshallah, to, to the deen, close to, to aqidah, close to, um, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and to the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. 
make your house like a mini mosque. Any house in Surat al-Baqarah in your house, your wife, mashallah, should be, if you are at home and you, uh, and you couldn't come to mosque, Salli jama'a ma'a al-anitak, pray jama'a in the house, make adhan in the house when you make adhan shaitan. Huh? You cannot penetrate in the house where there is adhan. Buy alarm clock, the one with adhan, five times in adhan, in, even, even electronic whatever, still in shaitan, one enter, inshallah, pray with your uh, uh, family. Um, when you go, inshallah, um, wedding, or you go, you, you like somebody, like, salam, somebody invites you, Inshallah, try to be. Uh, don't, don't, don't show off, or don't, you know, you new your newborn baby, whatever. Try, Inshallah, don't go and you, 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 you know, give him the, like, you know, cloth, new cloth, and this and that. Try to. That's how to avoid evil eye. Uh, you know, if you, even you, Inshallah, when, 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 when you go. Like you are good going to wedding, or have been advised, you know, uh, uh, invited to go to to a party, whatever. Sure, inshallah, don't you know wear like prime minister or whatever, and, you are, and then you go to the to that place. Wow, look at he. So from that you will get uh, even eye. And there is wudu. You have to be in wudu, inshallah. The wudu will protect you. Allahumma inni audi bika min kulli shaitanin wa hama wa min kulli aini nama. This dua protects you from the evil eye. Not only three quls, three quls, mashallah, and you have to be in wudu also. And many, many, this is, inshallah, how to protect yourself. To do the prayer on time, inshallah. Uh, maybe to do, uh, inshallah, some qiyamu leel, tahajjud, fasting Mondays and Thursdays. As much as you do ibadah, as much as the musibah, it will be minimized. And Allah knows by Medically, there is nothing wrong with him. He's been checked and everything. Yes. Is it advisable for him to look at Rukia? Yes, ma'am. And, and, and the protection that you are talking about is the protection uh, to read the rules and everything. If the person is already, already Already, jazakallah. So what should, what should I, what should I uh, So the question is, the first part of the question is, um, if the person is continuously ill and uh, they, they, um, you know, they've been, they tried all the medicines and nothing's working, uh, but they're still ill, could, could it be that the person is Rukia? And the Sheikh asked, yes. But the second part of the question was, um, if the person is already ill, um, how do we use the mode detain the, uh, the, the, the Rukia as a protection if the person is already ill? Inshallah, if you, if, you, if you think now, Alhamdulillah, you decide this is not a medical problem, so it will be a spiritual problem. Ruhani, uh, mushkil. So now, Inshallah, either you do it yourself, <coughs> Somebody from your family can read it for you. Your wife can read on you. You can read on her. That is sunnah. Then if you think, no, my wife, she cannot do it, or I cannot do it, then you go to somebody who you trust. Somebody from the mosque. The mosque will refer to you. Don't fall on the trap of the uh, boogie one. Bogey the bogey one. <laughs> bogey one. Bogey one, sorry. Did I answer you, my brother? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, my brother. Uh, question. No. Can the gene or the black magic make someone very attractive or attractive to someone? Can the gene... Common, common trait is like the husband and wife. The wife only sees another man finding very attractive and he has quarrel in the family, in her relationship. Is that a common trait? Let's see. 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 let us a male or a female, a husband or a wife, a, 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 to make a person attractive to a man, or make a make a man attractive to a woman, or a woman attractive to a man, in order that they go back home and have problems at home with their with their wives and their husbands. Why? Because they're attracted to somebody else. Is this possible? No. Um, yes, my brother. Um, let's see. Um, my wife, your wife, whatever. Somebody doesn't want us to be together. They will do anything to separate us. So they go to a magician, and the magician will send the jinn. Okay? They send the jinn to this lady, to your wife, my wife, whatever, our brother wife. 
this lady, the jinn, will push her to go and speak to man. Push her to smile to other men. She go to the butcher, she start smiling to Audubina, what is that? This, this, what I'm telling you, it happened. The sister, she told me, I went and I'm laughing to the sister with hijab and niqab. But this sister, she's possessed. She said, how to... And the, the butcher, they know the system. They said, yes. And then, alhamdulillah, when you see a sister and religious and this and that, and then you see her do, doing that action, or the brother do action, you will see this is not normal. So the jinn, yes, can do that. I spoke earlier about Jamal Tablir, yeah? There is two brothers. Listen carefully. They were joking. Both of them, Tablir, the brother. He said, my son and my brother, Allah, they are talking. But, but one of them is possessed. He said, Allah, I wish to have a massage. I don't know whether I mentioned or like, you know, halal, halal, my, halal my, my, my massage. Yeah. You know, my wife or whatever. Guess what happened? You know the Qarin what he does. And this brother, he has a jinn. His jinn, he went not far from where he lived. There is Ba'i'at al-Hawa. You know, the ladies from... Yeah, a very bad place. After like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, they hear the door. Knock on their own door, guys. So the jinn, he, he went to this lady, to the massage said, place. Number 99. They want your service. He never called them, nothing. He never. Look. He just said he wanted a massage. But both is, of you know, both. What, what, what context he met that in? His, his brother's massage him or what? You know? Both of brother nice. And when they opened the door, <laughs> you know, there's a haram meter there. What, what she's doing here? She said, Who asked for the service? Both of them, one, one is from another country, he doesn't speak English at all, and the one broke in. Huh? He looked at his, his, his brother. Know, <laughs> How is he? Sorry, we didn't. Can you imagine this? I told you the jinn can do more. The jinn speak to the judge, this lady, she's not good. And the judge, judge. gives a judge, give the verdict yeah, to The jinn, he said, we pushed the judge to decide like that and the other group of jinn they go to the jury said this lady no. and i said how long you are going to do this he said no we are not going to do it. we did we did it three times and i said why you want why you don't want to do it now he said because the lady now she alhamdulillah is coming close to allah subhanahu wa she is doing ibadah our work is start getting less effective Inshallah, did I answer your question? Okay. Another, please, another four questions or five minutes. Okay. What is the cure? I mean, just to ensure if you have this kind of issue, sorry. Yeah. Like okay, you so saw what, what is the cure if you have the, any of these type of issues? What's the cure? My dear brother, look, Inshallah, see whether something missing, some ingredient missing. Maybe I am not doing the prayer. Um, I am not doing, I'm not doing Ibadah. I'm doing this. I'm, when you, you, <laughs> Judge yourself or you look and you find, alhamdulillah, um, what I'm doing is all okay. And he, because most of the time is our fault, our mistake to open the door to the, the uh, shaitan and the jinn. And he, uh, I was talk, talking to one brother, he was, mashallah, everything okay. He has a jinn in the, the, in the house. He reads Surah Al-Baqarah, everything. And I'm just saying, and I was saying, Ya Allah. He's a good man, nice man with a long beard. And I said to him, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, give me this thought to say, my brother, is it your house? There is a river in your house? There is a mortgage? He said, yes. I said, the mortgage, you know, my brother, the most simple mortgage, a river, huh? is like somebody fornicate with his mom outside the Kaaba, 36 times. Please, beware of the riba. You are doing haram in front of Kaaba, is not only the jinn under your body. 
جينات انت عندي ما قلت لك كيو جاردن سو وي 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 هاف ان شاء الله تو ثينك وات وات از ميسينج ذن اف از ايفري ثينك سو ذير از ا تيلا فروم الله تبارك سو ذير از ا تيست فروم الله تبارك please <laughs> You are going to break the family up because it's something that is a difficult situation. So, no. so the question is, we said that in Pakistan, Dawis is prevalent there so much. A lot of our families, they go back home, visit their relatives, etc. with no Dawis. Yeah, they're normal. When they come back, they go Dawis on the next, or some of the kids' hair there, etc. Not. How do we explain to them that this is wrong and stop them from doing this when we know that when we do this, it will break the families, break, break the family ties? Yeah, all of them. بسم الله توكلت على الله يعني it's very difficult when you talk to your mom or your dad they are one way system this is why I told you to read one of these from Philippines the sister her mom but خرجها ولي بيبر you know الحمد لله use حكمة wisdom um let's for instance there is DVD here whatever a gin speaking she said تاويز is fake or تاويز is like this you can say to your mom, to your wife, to, look, this is alive and jinn is talking. Um, you can show them that this, tell her this man, you know, is not Pakistani, whatever, he's not going to, to be against you. He is telling you, this is what I took from people. Oh, my mom, happy new year. Do you think this is happy new year? So something like that, slowly. And tell her the Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and the Sahaba al-Kiram, and the Sahaba, the Prophet sallallahu I have many uh, narration here, when this lady, she met him in the street, and she told him, Ya Rasulullah, this son, my boy, he give me headache, he make love misery for me. The Prophet sallallahu he didn't tell her, put taweez on him. He said, bring him, he turned him like this, and he said to the jinn, Ukhraj Adullah, inni Rasulullah. Five, sorry, three or four uh, incidents when the Prophet وسلم, he didn't say do taweez, he said read or read on her or ask or, 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 or ask for rukya or ask for raki. But he didn't say to her do taweez. And the taweez, tell your mom or your uh, the, the, the respective older so if you can do it yourself. If you can't do it now in front of your son, why you wait for somebody and I don't know what he's going to send you? Well, I sometimes, one, one sister, she told me that somebody gave me something, something from, you know, uh, subcontinent. She did a treatment and he gave her something to drink and this, and for, she gave her treatment for 40 days. 41 days, salam alaikum. She passed away. Yani, uh, 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 the time has arrived, but why 40 days, 300 days, uh, 300, uh, you have to make 500, uh, uh, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, or 300, 1,000, your tongue comes out like this and you cannot finish 1,000. So why all this? So inshallah, I don't know whether I answer your question, but inshallah, smoothly, and say to her, oh my mom, I am sure you love the Prophet if she said yes, tell the Prophet, he said this, this. And if our children they are here, mashallah, I hold this boy, inshallah, I put my hand, bismillah, la quwwata illallah, la quwwata illallah, bismillah, Allahumma inni awdim kami kuli shaytani wa hamamu kuli ayni lama, bismillah, ta wukul ta'ala, Allahumma ahfadhu ya rab, who can see it? He is here in front of me. So, can I just stress that what Muhammad is saying is we have to do something about it, but in hikmah, wisdom, in a gentle way. What we don't do is see it and remain silent. This is not allowed. Okay. My mom, my mom, 94 years. I was walking with her. Well, my, my auntie as well. 
she was going to fall, she said, Ya Fulan, or oh, Ya. And she didn't say Ya Allah. She said, Ya Bin Amuri, Ya Insan, Ya, like, what is the name of the Iraq? Ya Badawi or whatever. And, and I hold, and I hold my auntie, I said, what is he? Why he didn't help you? You fall on the floor. You know, I, I said to her, do you want me to swear about him? To swear and let him do something if he's in a power. And then I said to her, look, he didn't help you. Call Ya Allah. And um, I was maybe harsh, but the way how I said it, Alhamdulillah, she took it. And, uh, you know, you use hikmah, said, you know, Allah, he said, Ud'uni astajib lakum. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He said, do call me, I will answer. You didn't call him, and you called the weak. Inshallah, maybe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, give him inshallah. Um, inshallah. Please, inshallah, my brother, I live in London, I want to get there, inshallah. And I didn't eat. I ate on the Sunday. I'm going to feed inshallah. No, no, inshallah. You know, I want to joke. But do you want a question, my brother? No, 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 inshallah. Do you want my... I, I did want it earlier. You didn't want it earlier? No, I still still do. Inshallah, it's regarding, you know, uh, you mentioned Yadu. No. Uh, if there's a sprinkling of blood. You find blood in your house? In the house and also on the clothes? Yes. Yeah. Um, it's, a, it's in Pakistan. Yes, my brother. Yes. They've been advised this black magic. Somebody's done black magic. Um, they obviously are reading the mouth. They're reading, you know, all the... What you advise so far? Yes. Is there any further uh, life to catch? Let, let the question was: Back home in Pakistan, there's a family who has found a sprinkling of blood in their house, it keeps and it keeps happening. Keep happening. Every sprinkling of blood comes on, on, on clothes, on, on the house somewhere. This has been continuous. So he's saying this family, you know, they pray, they fast, you know, they they they, you know, they, they worship Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Is there anything extra they can do other than this? This is, I think, my being Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best, is, is more than jadu. This is the jinnat who come and do this. Okay, again, my dear brother, yani, the, uh, the Prophet sallallahu he said about Surah Al-Baqarah, yani, Sahara cannot challenge it. So, Surah Al-Baqarah, inshallah, at least once in three days, people should read it or listen to it. Many people who does ruqya or, 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 or people who yani, do that, they always speak about Surah Al-Baqarah. Yani, uh, one, one Imam, he was, yani, he swear by Allah that I cure only by Surah Al-Baqarah. I ask people to read Surah Al-Baqarah because it takes you two hours to read it or one hour, 45 minutes. So, if you, you use to inshallah to read it every day is 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 a bit too much but shallah it will save you by the will of Allah Ta'ala and also there is one brother Asian he was talking to an Imam and he said to him there is a jinn in the house he said to him play Surat al Baqarah he played Surat al Baqarah three days and he said the jinn didn't want to go he said how old are you he said 40 or 45 he said to him, you play Bangra for 40 years and you didn't get fed up and you didn't stop and you play Surat al-Baqarah three days and you want the jinn goes. At least pray it for 40 years. At least do Surat al-Baqarah 40 days and 40. So, so number one, Surat al-Baqarah, uh, like I mentioned to you earlier, maybe there is something in it, Madhalim, maybe the people in that house, maybe... Uh, Maybe somebody worked for them, maybe they didn't pay, maybe this, maybe that. If everything is okay, sometimes, my dear brother, when we read, if our heart and mind is not in connection with Allah, the crack of the matter is Al-Khushur. If you speak to Allah, you are not talking to Prime Minister. Ya Allah, Ya Aziz, Ya Karim, Tadhalul. You know, we do pray. We make a dua, but why our dua, it doesn't accept it. Huh? Why when a Sahaba al-Kiram, they used to do Ruqya, somebody, he went to Imam, he said to him, I have a problem. He said to him, 
ريت الفاتحة عمر رضي الله عنه يوسف ريت الفاتحة آه he said يا شيخ I read the Fatiha many times but why it didn't work why with عمر رضي الله عنه it works he said the فاتحة هي الفاتحة the فاتحة is always فاتحة but where is the heart of عمر you have to have the battery terrible inside you could so so Allah will accept I I'm going inshallah to give inshallah bit of advice I said to 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 fast Mondays and Thursdays, inshallah, 30, 14, 15 as well, inshallah. Uh, salat fil masjid, you pray in the masjid, inshallah. Because when you go to masjid, while you are walking, Allah give you, while you're working, while you're walking, hasanat, inshallah. While you walk, hasanat, and say it will, uh, 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 inshallah, goes, a drop off, inshallah. 13, 14, 15, inshallah, uh, uh, in Muslim calendar. Um, our sisters as well to fear Allah when they leave the house please please don't put makeup don't put perfume the Prophet he said Man he who put the perfume meaning the ladies and she went out she will be cursed 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 until she come back and also the eye Plucking the eyes, brows is, is haram. Huh? And this kind of things, oh my dear sister, this will bring the jinn to your body. Also, when you go to Al Hammam to have a bath, try not to be totally naked because there is a jinn inside. This is my experience. Even a man, inshallah, we try like at least leave the uh, underwear. underwear. Okay, my brothers, Barakallah Fikum. جزاكم الله خير سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك نستغفرك ونتوب اليك سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم الله محمد فكما هي الشيخ من هذه الاكسبيرينس ان شاء الله ميلا رواد ميلا سبحانه وتعالى بروتكت هيم ان دي ذس ورك هي داز از سمثينج ويز ويل نيدد ان ذا كوميونيتيز سو اسك الله سبحانه وتعالى بروتكت هيم فور ان جيف ذا توفيق تو كونتينيو